Dude, there's something wrong with this thing. Really? You see it like black smoking a lot? Oh yeah, I got video. It's like ain't got no power, like I barely made it around that turn. Man, what a pile of Tupperware torpedo junk is this thing. Good lord. Oh my goodness. My buddy Paul has reached out to us and said, man, I sell equipment, I sell skid steers and stuff all day, but I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to selling semi-trucks. And I said, you know what? I can sell a semi-truck. <laughs> Especially a Freightliner. But look at this thing, dude. This thing's rough. I think Paul bought a bunch of equipment and he had to buy it. This was part of the deal. The old Freightliner. Got big rubber on it. 24.5 come alive. What year is this thing? Can't even see what year it is. It's got a manual transmission in it, though. So today, we're going to be taking this thing back to shop, assessing it, possibly cleaning it. I don't know yet. And uh, we're gonna try to sell it. See if she starts. We're off to a great start. Oh yeah. Well, folks, before we jump into today's video, our giveaway has officially ended. I want to thank everyone that has entered that. We are gonna continue to do giveaways, get bigger and bigger and bigger. We'll be announcing our winner in the next three to four days. We're waiting on some information to come back to some folks that are helping us do the giveaway. We'll be announcing our winner that wins the RC Desert Buggy, the motors, and 1500 bucks in freaking cash, guys. But we're going to continue a couple little giveaways. Not as big as that, but something even cooler, right? So this is my full carbon fiber G-Force racing helmet that I've had for like 10 years from drag racing my diesel trucks to sled pulling back in the day and all the way up until we've done some tractor pulling with it. But at a recent tech event we were at with... Um, the NTPA, they said this thing is expired. I didn't know 10-year helmets had a 10-year expiration on. Well, the Snell rating has expired. And guess what? We're going to be putting this thing in a random mystery box, guys. Random large mystery box. What? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. This is my personal race helmet. It's as clean as it's going to get. It's got, you know, it's got 10 years of wear and tear on it, stuff like that, but... It's expired. You can't go using it or anything, but I think it'd be a cool, <laughs> cool piece on the shelf, right? What's wrong? I can't believe I'm doing it. <laughs> That's cool. Though. It's gonna go in a large mystery box at BruceWilsonShop.com. So, go get your guys and go get your mystery box, and you never know. It might be a, a carbon fiber G-Force racing helmet in one of them. Let's jump in today. Let's see what engines in this thing. I think it's probably got a Mercedes. If I had to guess. A what? Yep. It's got Mercedes Benz in it. Look at that. Paul's got the jump boxes. He knows the deal. The good alls. Where are the batteries at on this turd? They're right here. So we're only about, as always, like five or six miles from the shop. See if we can get this thing open here. You know, this thing may not be pretty. I'm already talking trash about it, but I think it'd make a good yard dog or a good local truck with a little bit of work. Of course, it's got real king batteries and it would not expect anything less. <laughs> They're cranked on there? Yep. All right, let's go hit the key. That ain't good. Found a brand new one that's got 98% charge in it. This thing's gonna do what I tell it to do or else. I'm about to gang bang these batteries. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> All right. If this don't start, we're just gonna tell him we can have this thing. <laughs> Jeez, that was rough. First things first, we may have to put batteries in it. I don't think this thing's charged up, but it looks like this truck's just been sitting a while. Needs a good pressure washing. Maybe we'll get these wheels polished up. That'd make a big, big difference in it. Yeah. Hi guys, we got her up and running. Um, I'm gonna just check a few things out right quick. Paul says it's a little tight getting out of here. I had some brake issues, so might need to, oh, this thing's got lock and rear ends too. Full locker rears. You don't see that very often. It's really surprising, actually. This would make a good logging truck. This 
thing's got lock and rear ends in it. Full lockers. Yeah, it's being out of the mine, bro. She was hauling the uh, like uh, lime rock and shit. That's why it's a little bit. This would be a solid like logging truck. Yeah. For somebody. For somebody. Not for me. Definitely has a brake that's a little tight somewhere. Yeah, it's got a brake that's not releasing all the way somewhere. This didn't seem like something's a bit like kind yeah, of there's a, there's a brake that's not releasing somewhere all the way. I think if you get down the road, it'll probably let go on it. I had a trailer like that. Every time you would let it sit for a while, it would lock up. Yeah. Until you got to move it. That is what it seems like. Those are loose. That one's loose. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Plenty of wood around this thing. All right, see you later. Let's go. Dude, there's something wrong with this thing. Really? You see it like black smoking a lot? Oh yeah, I got video of it. It's like ain't got no power, like I barely made it around that turn. And something smells like it's on fire too. I don't know what's going oh, on. Yeah, I can smell it. There's gotta be a brakes or what? Hear that noise? Oh yeah. Something. I don't know what it is. You know, we ended up buying this thing from Paul because we wanted to flip it and make a little bit of cash. This might have been a big mistake. There you go. No way. I don't know. Oh, shoot. What is that? The brakes are smoking. <laughs> Well guys, it's got a check engine light. I don't know what else is going on with it. Probably just need some filters changed, fuel filters. These Mercedes engines are like really finicky about fuel filters. So um, I'm afraid to shut it off. We're gonna have jump packs with us. So we're just gonna try to like limp it along the back of the shop. We're literally not even a half mile from there. So let's try to get it there. Dude, this thing's sitting here about to overheat. It's like 200 degrees, 225 degrees. For real? Yeah, we better check coolant. Batteries, are, batteries are shot. <laughs> Just gonna put batteries in her. I gotta even shut her down. Probably low on water if I had to guess. Something. We may have just got us an absolute nightmare <laughs> of a truck. <laughs> That sounded great. Let's check the coolant. Right? Where's the coolant bottles over there? See if I can do this without burning my arm off. 
Careful. Woo, son. Ready? See it? Oh, she's low, low. Let's uh, get some coolant in it. Now, green probably ain't the right color coolant for this thing, but we're going to fill it up and let it run, make sure there are no other known issues before we get too far. A little bit of water. Mm. All right, well, we're filling this thing up full of coolant. I've already got three, three gallons in it, and it's still not full. So this thing is ridiculously low, which is not good. But we've got some super clean. We're going to work on getting this thing coated and trying to get it pressure washed up. See what she looks like afterwards. Then we'll uh, start going about maybe servicing it, checking, see what the check engine light was about, other than the coolant being low. And uh, yeah, probably needs a good fuel filter if I had to guess. This is it's so satisfying pressure washing stuff. <laughs> oh, look how the washout reacts with this right here. pressure washing you ready watch oh shoot look at that it's orange that's gonna look cool <laughs> still not full You're gonna enjoy this too much. Oh yeah. Should we just do one side at a time? Yeah. All right, so we put like seven gallons in this thing. So this thing has a coolant leak somewhere we are 100% gonna have to find before we move too far forward. I know I went a little over and above pressure washing, but I just wanted to see what it looked like, you know? And uh, looked pretty it's, white. It cleaned up a little good. It should clean up. So we're gonna try to jump this thing back off because she definitely still needs batteries. So this jump port might work right there, maybe. Looks a little rough. Freaking Ryan left the jump boxes in the pulling truck. Dang it, Randy, what the heck? Tell me to get the merch. Randy. I went and got the merch. This <laughs> may not do anything because these are in terrible shape. 
That probably ain't gonna do nothing right there either. We'll try it though. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's trying, it's like right there at the edge. Try on 24. Getting warm at all? They may not be making a good connection at all. Yeah, let's just go to the battery on the other side. So it's also got an ABS light on, so it must have something going on with ABS somewhere. It's not happy. Right there. No, I just put it on right on where the main one right there is the main one. Try it on 12 first. If it don't work, switch it to 24. Ready? Yep. 24. That's like right there too. Good? Yeah. What? Was it smoking or something? You had it right, you had it right. It's, cause it's probably burnt, stop. Look at the plug, look at the thing over here. You might just have a back. All right, put that right there when I think so, okay. It's like right there at the cuff. I don't know why it's not cranking. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Good? Yep. Yeah. Something's smoking. Is it that? Yeah. I smell smoke. All right, let's unplug this. All right. Now that I put some batteries and clean the battery cables up on it. Think we can get those warranted out? <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no date been scratched on them. Shoot, I think we can. I think I've got, oh, my scanner for my semi trucks to all of my house, too. All that I took home. I think. Did I? Yeah. Well, it's running. Let's see if the coolant brings the coolant levels back down. We'll try to see which tire is locked up on this thing. We don't want to put any more air in that front tire because it's already looking pretty bad. I mean, obviously, it is low, so let's check a few things out visually. We'll go release the brakes on it. All right, Ryan, tell me if these, see this right here? Yeah. Right there? Tell me if those slack adjusters move. Watch the slack adjusters, tell me if they move or not. I'm gonna release the brake. they move? Yeah. How about the front ones? Watch the front ones. Again? Yeah. Both of them? Yep. We got a brake that's sticking. All right, now watch them, see if any of them release. Front one's working?
Go grab the telehandler and pull it up here to the back. We'll pick the back of the truck out and see what's wrong with it. I was. He's... All right. The brakes are all released. But something ain't happy. Watch out. That side's spinning over there. All right, all tires are locked in. They should all spin. Which one stops first? They all do. We got a brake somewhere. It's hanging up. This is the suspension we need in the back of the pulling truck. Full lock and rear diffs. I think they all need some attention to the brakes. It's been sitting for two or three years, but it drove here. That's a start. Got it. Um, go ahead and let it down. The next thing's up. We had coolant issues. Full of coolant now. We haven't found a leak yet. Uh, AC doesn't work. We live in Florida. We gotta have AC. AC compressor is not kicking on while the AC is on, so it must have an AC leak also. Refrigerant leak. So that's something else we're gonna do address. Man, at least this gets getting longer and longer. All right. Well. Poop. All right, on to the interior. This boy needs a seat. Bad. Look at that seat. Oh, yeah. it, even, it even comes with some free droppings from some rats. It smells like it. And the seat don't go up and down, so which means the air must not be hooked up to it. But see, all these issues we're listing off, guys, there's nothing that we can't handle. If we had a truck that was perfect, ready to be sold, It'd be a lot more expensive, but something needs a little bit of work. We can do it. Man, I had so many opportunities to scare you, and I you, didn't. You got me. I grabbed it, and it didn't work. <laughs> but, oh, I'm going to get you now, son. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but it's crazy how this thing has full lock and rears. It's got a 10-speed um, transmission in it, so pretty, pretty standard stuff. A lot better than having an automatic. It's got a wet kit, which means we have a PTO right here. I don't know how this works, but click that board. This is going to be the valve to operate the hydraulics. So, hear the air compressor running, it's doing its job. That's what that noise you hear out there, the, the huffing noise. Just what about some radio? Is that radio? I don't know how you turn it on. I don't think we have any radio. All right, guys, we're gonna pull this thing around back. I don't think we're that far off. I'm cleaning it up. While I'm going out of town this week, we're gonna pick up the new Peterbilt 389. Lake is gonna work on getting this thing pressure washed and cleaned up, and then when we get back, we'll work on servicing it up. Maybe see about getting a new grill, addressing all the mechanical issues before we try to make it nice. 
And then go from there. If you're interested in it as the way it is, drop me an email, brucewilsonshop at gmail.com. If you're interested, 10 grand way she sits. Gonna be more when we fix it up. You guys know the deal. Let us know. Uh, I forgot what year it was. It's, it's gotta be like an oak. Oh, one. You don't know. Oh, Ooh, one. The slightest clue. <laughs> it's an oh, one. Oh, boy. Let's see what year it is first. Okay, the owner is Manuel. Dang, not all the man. 2004. It's a 2004 Freightliner Columbia. The only reason I know that is what it says right there. With a wet kit, full lock and rears. I think they're 40k rears. Oh no, these are 46k rears. Holy crap. Are you still selling I it? I might or? just cut it in half and put, the, put these axles in the bull truck. Dang, dude. These are exactly what we need. For real? Dead, dead serious. I don't know. After seeing that, this thing might not be for sale. If you're interested, go ahead and send me a message. But... Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed our Freightliner. What is that thing? Columbia video? <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get that thing figured out. We're going to go through and check it out. Email me if you're interested in it as the way as it is, 10000 bucks as is, before we do any work to it. You guys kind of see all the issues that I found wrong with it right off the rip. Um, it's going to be more once we start polishing it up, servicing it, fixing the AC and things like that. But for now, it's a good runner. 46K rears, 10-speed transmission, and a Mercedes engine. Um, but don't forget, go to brucelshop.com, get some large mystery boxes, and you may have a sweet carbon fiber race helmet in it, guys. We'll see you all in the next video. Peace.